keeping you, man. Late for milking. Oh, the ball is a night, sir. Up and down, down and up. My old grandmother used to say, you can't sleep tight with the little people out at night. As your old grandmother used to say, it's time for milking. and stallion spook easy. Now, if I take my hand away, will you promise not to yell? There, see? Nothing to be afraid of. Who are you? Well, I'm a friend of King's. Did you meet my pony yet? Meet him? I slept in the same stall with him all night. You did? Yeah, he kept me nice and warm and cozy. Well, I gotta feed him this morning. What's his name? Tiny. Tiny. Well, uh, can Tiny keep a secret? Uh-huh. Can you? Well, what say we don't tell anybody I slept here last night? Because, uh, well, I I didn't touch anything. Really, I didn't. I could do it. Do what? Sleep without touching nothing. Well, I just... <laughs> you know, I got a little boy at home just about your age. I'll bet he's grown as tall as you are since I've been gone. Don't be scared of Velvet. She's only a girl. Good morning. Donald and I were just getting acquainted. Who are you? He's a friend of King's. Come on, Donald. We better go find Pop and Mom. No, it's a secret. Now, Donald, I'm afraid we're going to have to let your sister in on it. I, uh... I slept here last night. I had nowhere else to go. Did my say you could? Well, not exactly. I hid from him. I hid from another fellow, too. I guess it was your pa. Why'd you do that? Well, I thought maybe they wouldn't like strangers around. I may look like a tramp, but I'm not. I, I got a good farm up near Springdale. Had a run of bad luck, been out looking for work. He's got a boy just about my age. And another one, just about as old as your sister. Didn't King make a fuss when you came in last night? Nah. Horses and me, we get along fine. Say, he's got good blood in him. Fine horse. You uh, trained him for a jumper? Steeplechaser. Oh, that's good. He's got the legs for it. Maybe Papa can find some work for you, Mr. Corrigan. Jed Corrigan. But now, don't you worry about me, none, little lady. A few odd jobs, and I'll be back in Springdale. You wait here. I'll talk to Papa alone first. Sir, use a shave. Me too, but I'm too young. He seems like such a nice man, Papa. And besides, he knows about horses, and Donald likes him. You know how children and animals can tell about a person. Hmm. Have to talk to the man and see. Been a lot of robberies around lately. I'm sure Mr. Corgan wouldn't steal anything. Sure, it's rounding up tramp. Said so on the news. He isn't a tramp, Papa. Then why'd he hide from me and my honest man would knock on the door and ask for a place to sleep? Maybe he was scared. Of what? Everybody's not nice like you, Papa. You're always helping people in trouble. It can't hurt to talk to him. Oh, thank you, Papa. Didn't say I'd hire the man now. I have no trust for a man who'll hide from you. She don't take a fancy to a stranger. None to ask if he's a murderer or what. Don't worry, I'll do the asking. Papa wants to speak to you first, Mr. Corgan. Your pa's right. Man can't be too careful these days. Howdy. Jed Corrigan, Mr. Hunt. My tailor. You've got a farm up Springfield Way. Springdale, sir. I uh, ran into a little trouble with my herd. Bangs disease. 
Had to destroy them all. What kind of cattle you raise? Brown Swiss. Good milkers? 4% butter fat. Corn feeders? Just pasturage and mash, sir. I was after milk, not beef. Aiming to get back home now, eh? Yes, sir. My, uh, my youngest boy took sick. I'm kind of anxious about it. Man wants to work on my farm, he can knock on the door and ask. I learned not to knock on every door you come across. It was a good-sized pile of wood and he's chopping. I reckon there's about a dollar's worth needs to be done. Be proud to chop it for you. Donald, show Mr. Corgan where the wood is. It's around here, Mr. Corgan. Thanks, Papa. The farmer needs more help than anybody when there's trouble. You're not saying much. I'd might say before. I've no liking for that man. Even though he's got all the answers. Had all the answers, all right. Let's keep an eye on him. If you win a dollar a day, how many days before you can go home? Well, let's see. About 50 days. 50? That's almost a month. More like about six weeks. Yeah, almost a month. Golly, the kid will be all grown up. The only way a man can get money is to earn it. Fifty whole days. Wow. Excuse me. Thanks, Wynn. I guess that about does it. Okay. Mama? Why, what's the matter? Isn't it awful about Mr. Corrigan? Did he hurt himself? No, but he won't get back home for 50 days. Why not? Well, he only makes a dollar a day, and he needs 50. Well, Donald, there's not much we can do about it. Maybe we can give him more than a dollar. Well, Donald, I had that in mind. But a man's got his pride. He might take insult if we tried to give him any more money. Uh, what's pride? Well, an able-bodied man doesn't like to take money he doesn't earn. His pride won't let him. What if he needs it real bad? <laughs> Takes all the tact in the world to help a prideful man. What's tact? I guess that's doing something nice for a person without letting them know anything about it. Where are you going? I'm going to go do some tacking. <laughs> Fifty dollars. Looks like a comp there. <laughs> 